Hi everyone, welcome back. Today Picket Fans is having their May release and I am excited to be sharing the products with you here in this video. So I know these types of videos are not for everybody, but I really enjoy watching releases like this where you get a close-up of all of the products that the release includes so you can figure out if there is something that you really want um, I love seeing projects made with the products as well but for me this is a more important video to see uh, before I commit on buying anything I wanted to mention that these products were sent to me since I'm on Picket Fan Studios design team um, but my opinion about the products are always my own um, yeah I just wanted to point that out and I'm sorry about the computer sound my husband is having his computer on and it's really loud and noisy so let's get into it I will just clear my desk and we can get into all of the fun stuff so I think I think this makes most sense just to do it like this to clear this off and maybe start here because this to me is probably my favorite thing of the whole release a uh, million little things this beautiful flower arrangement is called I believe this will be very very popular I cannot wait to play with it heat emboss it do some ink blending with the water colors or just do some no line coloring I cannot wait <laughs> to color this one in and the best part is that all of the stamps in this set also have coordinating dies I cannot point out how much I love this all of these sentiments cut out perfectly with the dies I am jiggly about this stuff set. I cannot wait to start playing. I believe this is a must have in your stash. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so well, here is another really cute one. Uh, this one is called Perfect for Me. And you have your little cute images here. Uh, they look nearly like, like stuffed animals. Um, you're perfect to me. I love this font. You have some accessories, sun and some flowers that is really tiny and small and go perfectly with the scale of these small mouses up here. I don't know if you can see them, but hopefully you can. Uh, the cat is out of the bag. You're the one. Uh, you're one year older. Happy birthday from the whole cat. Uh, Kaboli, cat Kaboli. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, my English and me are not the best friends, but you can probably find out these punny sentiments better than me. But I love it, and I love the little grass here and everything. My all your wishes come true. Super sweet. And, of course, the best part, as always, the coordinating eyes. Can't forget them. It's always the best. So here is one uh, of the extendable uh, stamps. Um, Picket Fans had a, has a lot of these and they nearly always come out at least with one every release. And it's fun because you can like extend it in all the directions. And this one is called A Nice Cold One. And I don't know if this is a part, have been a part of a kit previously. I believe not, but I will have it just as a saying that it might have appeared before. Otherwise, it's completely new and really fun to use with the other stuff that you will see here in a second. And here is another one of uh, the um, Friends set, Skipping Rope with Friends. Really cute. We've seen these animals in a lot of different stamp sets uh, during the past year and I personally really like it. I think this is super sweet. Um, happiness, happiness happiest of wishes to you for you on your special day and we have a lot of more sentiments to go along with it as well as the coordinating stamps uh, dice sorry for the stamps i cannot see the die for this one so that is probably the only one that is not included uh, but otherwise all of the others are here i love that and then we will go into i actually have some more stamps before we go into the standalone dice. So here's another extendable one. This will go nicely with a cat set we had previously. Are you kidding? I love this. 
I believe uh, like ink blended background with gold embossing on top with this would be fantastic. I cannot wait to create that card. And then we have uh, uh, another set that I think is a must have if you are gonna buy the other stuff that is in my pile here. Make it dry coordinating die set as well as the stamp set and you can see all of the amazing cocktail themed sentiments. So yeah, make it dry vodka, uh, shears, uh, on the rocks with salt. You can see all of the sentiments. You're probably better at reading them than me. So really a nice variety of sentiments in this large, large set. <laughs> you can see how large this uh, die set is. It's really huge. So then we have some scene building uh, dies. This is a tall grass die. We previously had one with a hill that was released last month. I never get around to using that so I'm hoping to combine these two this month and playing with that. Really nice to have in your stash with the uh, different heights of the grass. Perfect for all of those uh, scene buildings that you need to create for your cute animals. And then we have another one that also builds on that. Scene building grass stuffs dice. So you can see you have all of these that you can have like sort of randomly placed on top of your card. Really nice to have also. I think these are really really fun actually. These are the types of dice you have to have to build your collection. So that is a nice, it's nice to have them and that you have some variety if you want to keep, pick up both or just the straight one or the one with the heel. So here is some stuff that I know have been available previously in a kit and I believe it was one year ago. I was not on the design team then so I have only seen pictures of these before. But I wanted to share with you how many this is. So if Picket fans are releasing a kit you should grab that one because you can see the value here. This was just the dice. So you can imagine all the other th things that were included. I don't know if the stamps with the dry... What was it called? Uh, make it dry stamps that was included as well. But you can see all the dice. It's a huge value only there. So. Martini shaker die. So you have a martini glass. You have a piece that you can cut out and make it into a shaker. So I think this was a shaker card actually with sort of a drinking team through it. So really fun. We have that one. And then we have lemonade shaker die. Same thing here. You can have your shaker portion. A straw, some lemons. Really cute. And then we have tropical cocktail shaker die. I believe this is a part of sort of straw once more and a little like what is it called? Yeah, you you know, the thing you have your cherries with. The straw? No, it's not called straw. Something else. But you know what I mean. You have that and then the shaker part. Uh craft beer shaker die. Fun, cute. I never seen anything like that. So that is really fun. Sort of a beer can. Hmm. And then we have margaritas and you also have a sentiment included there with the shadow die. Love that. And the shaker pockets and some lemons. And then we have whiskey drink shaker die. Love this one as well. You have a lot of garnishing here and a straw. Cute. And the shaker bits. And then the last one, my favorite one, tropical pineapple shaker die. So you have your little umbrella and your pineapple slice, I believe. Looks like it actually cuts out two pieces and a straw and then your pineapple cone. Uh, and you can see that you also have a shaker so you can fill it. So that's that. But you not, cannot have like sort of a shaker team release if you don't have some goodies to go with it. So of course, Picky Fuzz has. <coughs> I just have to look at my cheat sheet before I'm telling you what these are called. I have it here to the side. So I can tell you that this one is called Pineapple Smash Mimosas and Peach Bellini. And I don't know which one is what. Uh, this one sort of looks like it has some clay embellishment in it. Clay embellishments. I hope the camera is picking it up how it looks. And maybe that one is the Mimosa then? I would think so, but I don't know. 
I'm actually kind of bad at the drinks myself. I don't drink, so. And this would make that one the... I want to say the pineapple smash. I just get that feeling. <laughs> But please look it up at the website. By the way, I will link to all of um, the whole release uh, at the bottom of this video. So you can go and check it out. But I, um, that is one thing. I'm really bad at doing that. I should use my affiliate links more as well. I never do. I always have the, like, the written part down here that I am using it. But I'm rarely doing that. I don't know. It's always sort of, oh, this is so beautiful. I love this one. I don't know if the camera is actually picking up, but these are my colors all the way. It's gold and it's peachy, so that is why I'm thinking this is peach bellini. It's so beautiful! I cannot wait to make a shaker with this one. I love this. This is my favorite one so far. It's my favorite one I think I have in my stash <laughs> all together. It's super beautiful. Okay, and then we have a lot of other stuff. So this one is a gem one. It's called Lemon and lime cocktail mix cute probably included in that kit we've talked about previously as well and then we have this one as well it's called cosmos and it's shaker garnishing with some sequins and it's this really punchy color it's sort of um, really really pink <laughs> i love it it's right up my alley in the color scheme so i cannot complain there and then we have Oh, just look at all of these beauties. So we have a lot of fun one. So this one, I believe, is the banana daiquiri. Beautiful sequin mix. You have your clay bananas and some shaker garnish and some like jams in there. Really, really a pretty one. And then we have strawberry daiquiri as well. Clay strawberries, some clay like just sort of strips. And in green embellishments, or sorry, green sequins and some garnishing in green. Some, yeah, you probably can see it, but it's really pretty. And then we have, what is this? This one is called Sesti. So you have lemon and lime. And you have some sequins. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Real, really pretty. But I'm saying that of everything at the moment because everything is really pretty. This one has a funny name. Salt and sugar rim. So I believe this would be perfect on going on top of those, um, like a salty edge here. Funny. I, I love that. And it really looks like it as well. Cute. And then the last one. This one is called Ice Cubes. Immediately when I saw this, I know this was a must-have as well. It really looks like ice cubes. Perfect for those shakers. Love it. Okay, so th if that wasn't enough, you guys, all the bling and everything, we also have new paper pouches. And I know, I know, I know. They were previously, last month, released in the rainbow pack. And then also in the neutrals. And everybody was like... We need to have them in white so we can do embossing with them and so that we can use the white ink as well. So Picket fans heard you <laughs> and they released three of them and I haven't looked at them but they are as you could expect like this. So they are nice. This actually has a yellow tint to it. I don't know why but it probably won't affect the like things they are doing so if you are using one for white and one for like your clear ink pad you probably should name that one but now you have three of them that is so amazing I love it so now we have a lot of these and I hope they are getting used out there because I know I'm loving them I have been using them a ton and um, yeah uh, I really like them um, so you can see how it looks. I think they all have been working great. But they are not like... I'm not switching out my brushes. 
I still love my brushes for like creating a background but if I just want to like do some inking on a specific place on a card or through a stencil or through a delicate die cut piece I love them so now we have that so that is it and I will probably if I have time I hope I have time I will create something with all of the stuff that I share with you today and um, yeah until next time